What's up, people, and welcome back to another episode of South Park, The Stick of Truth. Last episode, we ended off here at the school because I thought our mission would be to save Craig from detention. Turns out I was totally fucking wrong, and we need to go and recruit the other boys first. So we're just gonna explore the town as we make our way to the objectives of today. Those being to recruit Token and Tweak. Oh boy, am I hyped for today, guys. This one's is gonna be just as hype as the next episode where we will be saving Craig from detention. So much hype already, and we have just started the episode. Amen to that, Joe. This episode should be a good one. I wonder what fucked up shit is waiting for us today in the world of South Park. Well, I've got my fingers crossed that there won't be any more dudes jerking off with their doors unlocked for anyone to walk in and see. Yeah, that was pretty fucking weird. Not gonna lie. Although I can imagine every episode will have some type of fucked up shit waiting for us to discover. Obama's probably right. It's like no matter where you go in this game, someone is doing something fishy. Yeah, that is facts, Joe. Anyways, boys, right now we are headed to Tweak Bros Coffee to go and find Tweak. He is probably still buzzing off of the crack coffee his parents produce and for some reason feed to their poor child. The parents in this world are actually so messed up. Yeah, for real, bro. It's no wonder why they are the so way they are in the show with parents like again. that. I only dread to think how I would have turned out if I didn't have such awesome parents. George, you are a Texas boy, so you can't make out you had the best of upbringings. Personally, I would put Texas right next to Ohio and Detroit for most fucked up places in the United States. Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak? <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Uh, not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> you should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. It's way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, I, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean about Tweak being on crack. Some mornings I Something tells me it had to do with him being named Tweak in the first place. Great observation, Obama. It's not like that was the most obvious naming of a character in the whole of South Park. Yeah, not gonna lie. Obama, I don't think it would take a detective to realize why he is named Tweak. The whole purpose of his name is to represent those who abuse substances in the real world. Jesus fucking Christ again? Okay, what the actual fuck? That was even worse than both of the last ones combined. I take it back, George. Colorado is definitely worse than Texas. Hey kid, can you help me? There was a mix up at the post office and they accidentally gave me a package for Miss Cartman. Any chance you can go to the post office and pick up mine while I drop this one by her house? I'm Donald, can we leave please? Mr. Slave has always made me feel real uncomfortable. I don't really want to be near him the whole series if I'm being honest. Best get used to it whilst you can Joe or you're gonna have a hard time later on. Why is that Obama? Don't worry about it, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. Don't worry, Joe. We are just easing you into it for now. Soon enough, you're gonna have to dive in head first, if you know what I mean. Stop it, you guys. You're scaring me. What do you mean? You got nothing to worry about. Joe, let's just focus on the present. Fine, whatever you guys say. I'm just glad we are out of this weirdo's house for the time being. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. Finally, some nice civilized people. Was it really that hard to find some good people?
You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, yeah. Nice people, the yeah, they look so friendly. Coffee. You got the envelope? Uh, these witch doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh shit, it's a kip! I'm sorry, but how the fuck does this guy think that we are cops? We are literally dressed up like Joseph and some other bitch from Jerusalem. Obama. These guys are probably so caked out of their minds that they think we are walking fucking lizards or some shit. They got some breaking bad looking ass set up out here for fuck's sake. Damn bitch, get the fuck off of me. This one is gonna be a little tougher than all the other fights we've had so far, I can already tell. Yeah, take that, you crack addict. This must be the suppliers for that one prime minister of the United Kingdom. What was his name again? You guys know the one that literally looks just like Donald. Fuck off, Joe. I look nothing like Boris Johnson. He is a fraud and some shitty excuse for leadership. No wonder the people over there turn out so fucked in the head. Calm it down, Donald. The editor is from the UK and he won't edit our videos anymore if you keep shit talking his country like that. Bro, yeah, he literally yeah, agrees everybody. that his country is a mess. You can ask him. Oh, then I guess it's cool then. This cop's crazy! DJ! That wasn't so bad. How does it feel, huh? I don't get how Kenny's parents haven't noticed all of this shit in their garage yet, to be honest. To be fair, George, they probably have, but they are so poor that they just let them stay so they can get the extra cash. Ha 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 ha, true, they need it, let's be honest. I feel bad for Kenny, though, for real. He is always doing good things for everyone, no matter what. But he is in a worse situation himself than the people he holds his hand out for. You're weird. You should try some coffee. It gives you that it. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm. Yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all organic Tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. Well, that's one down, just one more to go, boys. It should be easy enough getting Token. All we gotta do is go and ask him to play. Considering his parents are so rich, it's not like he's gonna be making any crack coffee or stupid shit like that. Psst. Psst. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Al Gore. You know, Al Gore, I'm super important. All right, look, I've detected some very strange activity in this area. I believe we are dealing with Man Bear Pig. Yes, the Man Bear Pig. I know you're scared, but I need help. Take these and place them in the location specified on the man bear map, pig. And now I'm going to make you my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now, but don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry, we must know if man bear pig is here or not. That's pretty cool how they put all gore in the game. This movie's really sweet. 
I don't even remember if man bear pig was discovered to be real at this point though. I just remember the whole thing being a way to dig at global warming until it turned out to be true. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. Well, I can only think of one solution to this guy, and that is a mask which will block the pepper spray. And if there is one place which will sell something like that, it would definitely be Jimbo's guns. I'm gonna go there and see if he's got anything that can help. Bro, Cartman is such an asshole. Did you see his Facebook post just then, laughing about us being pepper sprayed? Such a douchebag. Oh man, I remember getting beat up right over here. Stan one time gave me the closest wet willy right here. Ha ha ha, Stan's a savage. Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> Let's brawl fuck well, boy. I'm gonna get grounded anyway, you might as well. Uh. One hit knockout too fucking easy. By the hammer of butters! Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Those kids literally just got smoked so easily. Ha ha ha. What fucking losers. God damn, I'm going. Alright, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week at Natural. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, all right, Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. <laughs> I fucking love the city walk guy. Whoever thought of his character needs a raise. Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner. That won't be a problem, Jimbo, seeing as your only police officer is retarded. Let me just sell you a bunch of junk quick, though, so that I can fill my pockets a bit. And just like that, we got an extra $20. And now I would like to purchase your finest gas mask, please, my friend. There's some security guard who needs to be taught a lesson for pepper spraying miners. All right, let's go and kick that guy's ass for being such a dick. Way ahead of you, Obama. I'm gonna fuck that guy up so bad. He's got no idea what's about to hit him. Hopefully bro will learn his lesson after this. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh look, now he is scared of us. Ha 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 ha! What a total me, pussy! Homie. You're only tough when you got your secret little weapon, huh? Ow! Let's do this shit, Donald. Kick his ass. By the hammer of butters! Ooh! That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. Not liking it so much now. Huh? Little pussies like this guy need to be taught a lesson. 
Time to school this asshole. Get shit on, asshole! And we got his baton to replace our Jewish stick. All right, let's go and get Token out to help us bust out Craig. Bro, this guy literally lives in a mini White House. This place makes all the other homes in South Park look like a third world country. I've got to admit, bro does have a nice ass house. Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elves took the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Why does bro dress up like a walking Nike sponsor, ha ha ha. Yeah, for real. I don't get how that comes into play when this was supposedly a game about the past these kids are playing. Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame. As you fucking should, bitch. We literally kicked your ass so bad, ha 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 ha. Reporting for duty, Grand Wizard! Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the- Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever, Fart on anyone's bows, okay? Ha ha ha, what the fuck? Farting on is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey. Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Little does this guy know I am a Find fucking god when it comes to magic. Watch this Hold. shit, boys. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A I don't know what I expected when they said magic, spell, but so I really shouldn't boisterous. be surprised it was this. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? <laughs> oh my god, no fucking way. Real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Ha! <laughs> 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 that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Oh, cool, I'm home. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss, okay? Seriously. You have mastered Dragon Shaft. From now on, it will be easier for you. Well, there we go, boys. We recruited Token and Tweak and even learned the magic spell. Kenny was Dragon Shout all in this bag. episode. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. That's gonna be it for today, though, guys. We will break Craig out of detention in the next episode. This has been a fucking awesome session, but let's wrap this up for now, then. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment your opinion on the video, and subscribe with notifications on to never miss an upload from us. We recently just hit 3,400 subscribers, which is fucking insane. Thank you all so much.
If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing yourself as we are aiming for 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. With the overwhelming amount of support we have been getting from you all recently, we are sure that it is possible if everyone continues to enjoy the content the editor tries so hard to produce for you all on top of the busy daily life he lives outside of YouTube. Yeah, the editor really tries hard to squeeze these videos in and still have time to do some personal stuff. But the insane support from these recent South Park videos you guys have been giving us has really motivated him to keep pushing the content out for you guys. Anyways, again, thank you all a million times, and we will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye for now.